What's up, everybody? Afro motherfucking J-O-E here. Afro Joe with my homegirl, Satiste. <laughs> what it is, yo, but what's up? Today, well, tonight, we we thought we'd do a video about people who love to out themselves. You're going to see a bunch of pictures of people outing themselves. Like, uh, I'm going to take this picture off and show everybody what the people who love to out themselves. Because one thing I always said about people, why do people love to out themselves? I don't know why, because they're dumb as shit, but here we go. See these people? They love to out themselves. Everybody heard of James the Preacher, Fat Boy Get Down, Susan Smart, Ball, whatever, Honey Bear, whatever, Sylvia Davis. All these people have one thing in common. They love to out themselves. Fat Boy Get Down is a fat piece of shit that is a racist-ass motherfucker. Same with James the Preacher. He's a wife beater, uh, racist piece of shit on the word trying to use God as a weapon God will condemn you to hell cause you are black hey motherfucker you racist piece of shit and Susan Ball outs herself because she is stalking my homegirl now, if you watch the last two videos of the Susan Ball videos of stalker and all that you will see how much evidence shows that she has been stalking my homegirl like how did this woman know that my how did this woman know that my friend's head was shaved? How did this woman know my friend's head shaved? How did she know about the video being made besides going up on her page and reblogging it on Tumblr? Oh, and how the fuck did she know I had a Tumblr and a Twitter and um and what the fuck you call it? Oh, Instagram. Because it's really funny that she didn't get those things until she found out I had them. And I do have proof and evidence that yeah. um, you can see on my Tumblr um, that uh, she, like, for example, um, let's see, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show thing. I don't remember when I posted that. I think I posted like a few months ago. Well, she lived like it for me three weeks ago. And, um, this, uh, Stone Tubal Pilots gift that has Scott Lyland dancing and shit. I think I, I think I vlogged that, like, a month or two ago. She re-vlogged it a month ago. And, you know, every time you re-vlog someone else's shit, they, they get a notification of it. So Susan, I know in fact you have been fucking stalking me since day one on Tumblr because every time you would reblog something of mine, it would say so. So how the fuck am I stalking you? I've only been on your page like twice. Yeah. One to block you, and the other one to see all the retarded bullshit you had because my friend was like freaked out and told me about it. Yeah. So she outed herself by stalking my friend by reposting all sadistic shit on her page. And me knowing about it the whole fucking time. Yeah. Like I said, uh, Fat Boy Get Down <laughs> outs himself in a video that he's a racist by saying nigger a lot, rubbing peanut butter on his face. <laughs> he outed himself so fucking badly that he took the video down and shit. You're still a fat racist, motherfucker. You still are. You're never going to stop being a fat piece of shit. What networks wants to bring a fat racist on the t on their show? Uh, Stream Home Weight Loss Edition ain't going to pick you up. Because you went around calling people nigger, nigger, this, nigger, that, nigger, nigger. Nobody's going to want you on their show if you keep being a racist. That's how it is. Sylvia Davis. When I did that now live video, apologizing, you out yourself trying to speak for everybody. You're stupid enough to send a message, not realizing I can use that shit against you. And that's how you out yourself. You're stupid enough to out yourself. You gotta remember who I am. I just talk about that BS on live video. If you didn't want my apologies, fine. You could never. If you didn't want to accept my apology, you didn't have to say anything. 
if you didn't like my apology, don't say nothing. Just leave it there. But you were stupid enough to sit up there and write a message trying to speak for everybody. I thought everybody was an adult. Apparently not. Apparently not. So These got... people don't seem to be adults. They seem to be children seeking attention. Yes. James the Preacher. You are such a sellout. Such a... Uh, what is outing yourself because I found out that you and your wife ate cats. I heard that people from another country used to eat cats and dogs, but I never knew a Caucasian male and his wife would eat cats and preach and mislead people by preaching a wrong word saying God hates other minorities Doesn't and that women aren't allowed to have a right to anything and that their voice shouldn't be heard yeah like he said what what, what did he say he said uh, women that we uh, us women should have no education and that we belong locked in our houses cleaning up after our husbands and not letting our children have an education yeah he said that women shouldn't wear pants they should be wearing dresses that kids should not play with toys like they're kids man what they what, what they supposed to do man you ain't gonna let them get an education you ain't gonna let them play toys you ain't gonna let them watch tv so what they supposed to do turn mass murderers yes that's how that's how mass murders come about because people like him so he already outed himself before he even thought about it I mean, dumbass. He lives in a tra like I ain't trying to put people down who lives in a trailer park, but he lives in a trailer park. He has no job. He's got. He a travels in an RV. He travels in an RV to church, to church, to church, trying to preach the word of stupidity. So, if you actually fall for this guy, you're stupid as hell. That you have no sensibility to to have any knowledge of anything. That is stupid. Believe in this man, you're stupid. If it was, if it was back in the day, man, this man would have been shot. He but shot yeah, but I'm telling you, man, all these people have one thing in common: they love to out themselves. I could never figure out why do people love to out themselves? Because they have nothing else better to do, and all they know is to lie. Yeah. His ex-husband, he, he's a liar. Yeah, her ex-husband, liar. And, and it's sad, man. Like, you know, what are you trying to fucking prove by, you know, lying and making yourself a total dumbass? That's what I'm saying, because one thing is I'm always catching people outing, them, outing themselves. It's funny. It's funny as hell, plus it's true, because all these people know how to do is out themselves. They don't know <laughs> nothing else. They don't know nothing else. That's all they want to do is out themselves, how stupid they are. And they get mad when somebody calls them out on it. Like, are you mad at me because I just outed you? I, I just put you on blast because you outing yourself? Yep. I was like, I just don't get these people every day. They out themselves. <laughs> they out themselves. They making themselves look stupid, ridiculous. Uh, retarded just not just like oh my god for real this is what the world has come to see what happens when you let a a fat ass girl named honey boo boo child come on TV they, people turn stupid honey boo boo child <laughs> gotta get her what energy juice on what you giving her red bull they give her red bull semi-lack and some crack Kind of bitch. That's all it is, man. See what happens. Stupid ass people. See, I'm telling you, these are the people that's dumb and it shows that I'm right on law. When you watch reality shows, your mind you are dumbing down. Right? That's it, you're dumbing down. You have no more intelligence. The stupidest people on earth. How can anyone like one thing about it is Sylvia Davis, this is how stupid she is. This is how stupid she is, Sylvia Davis. Like I said in the video, when I did a video about her, 
I said that uh, she lied to people saying she was pregnant by some actor. She only had one picture that she took with this guy. And that was it. That was it. There was nothing else. That was it. And she told everybody that was day. I ain't seen no vacation photos. I ain't seen no... Baby photos? Yeah, I haven't seen no other photos, vacation. Oh, wait, she, didn't she say she had like, uh, a miscarriage or something? Yeah, she said she had a baby. How convenient. Oh, she had a baby. Oh, Lord, did she, pre she was pregnant. Then she turns around like a month later and says, oh, I had a miscarriage. I don't even think a troll would knock her up. Girl, a dog wouldn't even knock her up. Oh. The kukui wouldn't even knock out the kukui. Wouldn't even touch that. I bet Mitt Romney would touch her. Shit. And John, Mc John McCain, I bet he'll touch her. They didn't know they nasty anyway. They'll fuck anything that, that looks ugly or fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Why out yourself and make yourself like a damn boo boo the fool? You know, it's like, what's my stalker? You know? For someone, you know, this goes back to like MySpace, and I have this on my blog on my Tumblr. You know, if you're not a stalker, why would someone make almost 20 different MySpace accounts and try to, um, you know, request you by using like different names and shit, yet they're using like there's like nicknames and various pictures we've used in the past. You know, it's pretty fucking honest. And also, yeah. why would you want to start shit with me when I'm not even bothering you? Like saying all, uh, calling me a kid because you think I don't have a fucking life or a job. Bitch! It ain't none of your goddamn business what goes on in my life. It's none of your concern. You're not a family member. I ain't married to your ass. You know her daddy, you know her mama. You know, if you know, if I have a job, I have a job. If I don't have a job, I don't have a job. If I wanna be on the computer twenty four seven and piss and shit myself and get to be like five hundred pounds, that's my fucking business. What I do in my life ain't none of your fucking business. It's I mean it. you know, you're fucking psychotic. You know? Um Oh my god, thinking about ooh, I wish murder was legal. No, it is kind of legal if you work for the government. Well, I don't. Yeah, if you work for the government, like you work for the prison, you can execute people. That's it. No, that's you know, it's just, you know, why, why do people help themselves? Yeah. You know? That is, get eventually. Yes, that is the question. I always ask the same question in half my videos on YouTube. And daily motions in MySpace and Facebook. Why do people always out themselves? Why? Uh, like I said, when I told my told my friends the district, I said some of these videos write themselves because mm -hmm. what people do. I ain't got to do much work on my videos, on half my videos, because people are always outing themselves and giving me the fucking materials that I need to use against them. Like a Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. How it can get material like in the snap. Yeah. If doing dumb shit or embarrassing themselves. Yeah, like I was watching a video of Gary Owens. Mm -hmm. And he was getting heckled. He was just tearing this guy up and all this shit. And he actually said in that video, he says, Man, these shit these jokes write themselves. These jokes write themselves. Thanks to Rust this guy who was named Rusty, he says he said, this guy used all my time on this guy, Rusty. That's how it is with me. Every time, these, every time I'm going to do a video, I stop and I, like, every time I do a video, it's always going to be somebody to sell themselves out and I always pick it up and use it in the video. And these people get so mad at me because I sit there and do a video about them. It's not my fault that I do a video about you. It's your fault for fucking up. I know everybody makes mistakes, but when you make mistakes every day 
of the fucking weed that's not a mistake that's you fucking up that is you fucking up fat boy get down you're fucked up because you're overweight looking like a job of the hood racist ass motherfucker Sylvia. and all you do is sit and you sit and complain because you're fat yet you're shoving pizza and pop down your fucking throat yeah you say you're trying to lose and making weight. videos saying I whip my kitties back and forth and dancing to my hopes yeah, see, and it's funny, he did, what, several videos that he was losing weight. You was doing a good job, man, losing weight. Until he, until he started with the whole, uh, I'm a nigger shit. Yeah. I'm not a racist. But, you know, just because some chick jumps to you and, you know, starts seeing an African-American guy, you know, don't blame that guy. It's not his fault. Yeah, I'll tell you this. And this I, isn't the first time he's said the N word. He yeah. has said it in a chat room that, or a uh, blog TV because I yeah. heard him because yeah. of uh, what's her name? Uh, Big, Big Shirley. Big Jody or Big Shirley. Big Shirley. Yeah. Was, Big. Uh, didn't want him because uh, she wanted some black guy. Yeah. yeah. And he went and got on his room and was like, "Oh, nigger this, nigger Big Shirley's nigger, yeah. your nigger lover or something." And yeah. I told Lucky and Lucky went in there and shut him fucking up. Yeah. Big Shirley's a good friend of mine. I never dog out Big Shirley because she's my homegirl. I know her from blog TV. She's funny as hell. Funny as hell, man. First, I actually, I actually fucked up, fucked up because I said, "Where's Cole at?" And she couldn't figure. Out. I said, what? "She's like, what you mean, where's Cole at?" I said, "For Martin, Cole was dating a girl named Big Shirley on the Martin Show." So she started laughing. But Big Shirley is a friend of mine. He get. She told me what happened. That fat boy get down was trying to holler at her. She said, "No, I got a man." She got a man, and he got man like sadistic said. She he went off in his show, started saying nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga that, nigga lover, big shirts, and nigga lover, and all that shit. So when sadistic told me, I went in there, and I said, "What's this about niggers?" And he shut up. He quit saying the word. Cause I was about to pop that ass, man. Tell him to shut the fuck up on that. How you gonna be a YouTube sensation? Be on top of the world, having all these fucking fans love you because of who you are, then turn on a dime and just start calling black folks niggers, calling Latinos beaners and wetbacks. How do you turn on a fucking dime? To all your fans that are black, Mexican, Latino, uh, Asian, Jewish, any other minorities, how do you do that and turn into this big racist? He's uh, crazy. Yeah, problem. and I, well, I uploaded the video about him on my other channel, and a guy actually told me straight off the bat the reason why he's like the reason I said because in the video I said how can he get away with this shit. One guy said he never leaves his home. Only time he leaves his home is when he's going to the hospital. I said, you know what? He is right. I ain't surprised nobody went up to that hospital and popped him in his ass. Just popped caps in his ass because he's getting away with a lot of shit. YouTube keeps on paying them. They ain't going to do anything and step in and do nothing. But if I said something like that, they ready to bust my ass. How come YouTube is taking up for this fat piece of shit that's throwing on racist slur, but but me, they want to push the damn TOS on my ass. If I got to follow the rules, so does he. So YouTube, stop babying this fat piece of shit. He's a racist. He is the racist. Same with this James the Preacher. He's a racist. He's a racist, sexist. And every and wife beater, child abuser, everything. I don't see why his kids hasn't been taken away from him. Him and his wife, because if she allows this man to beat on the kids, she is just as guilty as him. Mm -hmm. He outs himself every time he does a video. There's people that shows his shit. Susan, Susan, Susan Ball or Susan Smart. Let me tell your goofy ass something. Susan, uh, horse face. Horse face, my life. <laughs> Darling, I'm 
Blaine Carlin compared to her. Yeah, man. Let me anyway, tell you. Let me tell you this, Miss Susan Ball. I don't give a damn if you live upstate or whatever. You always out in yourself because you, like Sadistic said, you repost her shit. And it never surprised me. And it's the same as when somebody likes, like, uh, retweets your uh, tweet. I have her blocked on Twitter. I mean, she tried to, like, under, like, two different names, uh, Dark Bitch or Wolf of Beauty, or whatever the fuck she calls herself. And, um, she put one as, like, she made one that's called, like, Miss. It was either Miss or Mrs. Barrett. Tried to request me on it, and she, like, used, like, her nickname. She, I'm like, dude, this bitch is crazy. All because she wanted to know why I stopped talking to her. Why do I stop talking to you? Because I have no reason. The only thing we have in common is Nathan. And you know what? You know what? I don't want to fucking talk about Nathan. Okay, now I'm going to do this again since she's so stupid. Since she bitched about me showing her boyfriend in the video. I'm going to do it again. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. This is her. Susan Q. Smart. That, look, bl Violent Black 84. Go to her fucking face. Beauty, not black. <laughs> beauty. I don't give a fuck. Beauty. Violent You know what's black. funny? You know what's funny? She claims to be a fucking hippie. She's like a hippie. Oh, I'm a hippie. Yeah, she's like trying to be all morbid and shit. I have never in my life seen a morbid hippie. I mean, aren't hippies supposed to be free and loving and happy and yeah. stoned, yeah. not psychotic and stalkish See, and look, trying to copy me? I'm going to say this. I'm going to show your fucking boyfriend until he understands what's going on. I'm not dogging him out, but let him see this video how much of an ass you are. Like, Corey Smart, your girlfriend or whoever she is to you is a fucking stalker. If you're... St I ain't calling you stupid, but if you're got a if you got intelligence in that fucking head of yours drop her ass like a bad habit and move the fuck on because you do not need a bitch that starts drama she's a drug addict yeah look see you look. don't give a fuck she's a like look yeah you're both drug addicts oh uh, yeah drug addicts so he's a motherfucker too I'ma go to your pictures and show the world yo shit I'm on your profile you ain't gonna find my ass you dumb biatch Look how ugly she is. But yeah, you know, it's like, it just, it just baffles me, like, you know, she's trying to, like, play slick Rick games, and it's like, you know, I'm not even stalking you, and I know that you're reblogging this shit, because, you know, Tom, for some reason, and I don't see why it even matters, why you need to know who reblogs your shit, but, I'll tell you, you know, this, yeah. Look, I'm gonna tell you this, I love white women, but this is the ugliest white woman I've ever seen. <sighs> She can say I'm stalking, but it's not. It's just me proving the fact that you is the ugliest bitch on earth. You hey, make hey, you make you make every man want to go blind. You make every man want to go blind. You make every man want to go gay. And shit like that. You make men want to go gay so quickly. Now, like, like, I just don't. I mean, seriously, like I said, let's try to say earlier. The reason why I quit talking to you is because, you know, I, like I said before, I said my piece. Um, we have nothing in common, you know, in your fucking warped, crazy mind you think we do. Um, I don't trust you because of past shit, like you saving pictures of me and my ex-husband and me being pregnant and possibly pictures of my son. And, you know, you don't need to know what's going on in my fucking business. It ain't, you know, you're mad because you know, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You know what? You know what? I think this just came to me. She said she took your, took the pictures of you pregnant, right? Uh, yeah. She uh, it was like one of the pictures of me showing my belly, and hold she on. put like Mary pregnant, LOL or whatever on her phone. No, no, this no. was like years ago. Now you know what she could have did. What? She could have photoshopped her head onto your body. She's not smart enough to do that shit. She uh, don't you don't know. Shit. You don't know. She probably did. She probably did. Yeah, like she, like she was probably the one that tried to hack into my fucking Facebook yesterday, too. Either her or one of her stupid friends. But it's funny. It was from West Virginia, and it was for four hours from here. Yeah. 
Susan Balls is stupid. I showed your stupid pig. And if it was you or your little friends trying to add to a Facebook, fuck you. Look, I'm telling you, man. Fuck you. You all are nothing but a bunch of what, fucking... What? Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Watch this. Let this video get watched by either of these motherfuckers as we shown in these pictures. And I bet you, if I or Sadistic hear one word, see one picture or anything that they say anything about us, you know they are outing themselves and they're not, they are pieces of shit of the earth. They are dog shit on at the on the bottom of a the bottom of my fucking shoe. They're dog shit on the bottom of my fucking shoe. Just watch them out themselves even more. When they out themselves, it shows that Afro Joe and Sadistic has been telling the truth since day one about these people. Oh, I have it since day one. Yeah, because one thing is, man, if, they, if Susan Ball retweets, uh, reposts this on her Tumblr. Letter. I don't care. If she reposts this on her Tumblr or whatever, it shows that she is a stalker. She has nothing else to do. She's a piece of shit. The only reason why her boyfriend or her fiance is fucking her because she got the drugs. She don't even like them. She don't like the fuck. And it's funny to say, it's funny that she can't have kids, but she's lying and say, oh, I want kids. Bitch, you, oh my God. What? You wouldn't know, you wouldn't know how to take care of a kid if you, you were, had to. If you had a doctor, nephews, or whatever. I, you didn't know. Like, kill the, or something. like they say, a dog can have puppies, but it doesn't make it a mother. And that's how the story goes. But anyway, um, yeah, um, call me a whore, call me a slut, call me whatever you will, you know, because apparently, um, that's all you know, because you apparently can't come up with any new material, so. Yeah, you ain't. It's kind of funny that you call me a whore when I haven't, uh, had sex in over a year, so, yeah. I don't, I'm a... I could say, like, like I said before, what I told you before, I'm surprised that this woman did not try to friend me on Facebook, trying to follow me on Twitter or anything. She can't that, find you. She can't find me. That's the funniest thing. She's not even hitting me. Oh, Joe, how you doing? No, I'm glad she's not doing it because one thing is, I would have blocked her and told her off. I would have did 15 fucking videos until she got. Until she understood, hey man, you like you yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason why you deleted your uh, your double account was because you got called out on your fucking psychotic bullshit. It has yeah. nothing to do with your sister. Stop using your friends and your sister as a fucking pawn to save yourself from total embarrassment. You know what? I actually seen her sisters, and her sisters are kind of fine. I don't know what happened to her. I mean, she should have been aborted. Yeah, something, man. Like I said, man, she is. Her sisters are as fine. Her sister is fine, yang. I bang her sisters, though. I don't know about her. I think her mama was drinking when she was pregnant with her ass. She all fucked up, beautiful. She looked like Popeye with a. She like Popeye, but a, in a female version. She's like, you know, she's like trying to starve herself, trying to stay skinny and shit. Trying to suck in her gut. Like, bitch. Please. Bitch, you is fat, ugly, and mentally challenged. She a re re. She a re re. Man, you worse than the Beverly Hills Builders, man. I'm telling you, man, she makes retarded kids look. She makes Sarah Palin look good. She makes autistic kids look normal. Yeah. And I can say that because uh, I am kind of autistic and so is my child, so fuck you. So fuck you. And um, also, oh yeah, you know, one time, all you know, this is like the last thing, you know, last thing I want to mention. Um, uh, one time I remember, we, me and my ex-husband were um, in Savannah, Georgia. And this fucking bitch was, you know... Talk. We were talking, you know. I was just trying to be nice and friendly because I felt better for her because she was so desperately in need of wanting to be my friend and talk to me. She was all asking me, like, you know, um, how do you know if you're bisexual? Because she was, like, 
she was trying to uh, act like she was bisexual too, and she would be like, "Oh, I have to go. Me and Nathan or uh, have a girl ever wink wink." And I'm like, "Bitch, you don't even like to have a dick in you." Like you know, and this is the same bitch that called me a fucking dyke and shit. No, no, yeah. Okay, we done with her. We gotta talk about the rest of the people that <laughs> they're selling themselves out. Um. How about her? Something with the damn James the Preacher. I think we talked about all of them. Yep, that's all of them. If y'all got something to say, and one thing about James the Preacher, how the hell are you going to hate on God's people? Like I said, my last he thinks, he thinks we're all like devil worshippers and shit. Not all of them devil worshippers. Some of them are Christians and all this shit. They have their own religion. Some of them have, go to church. Like I said before, some of the, like to me, I think. Uh, what is it? Goth women are fine as hell. Uh-huh. I would love to bang a goth woman. <laughs> I would bang them and get them pregnant so they, so when we have Well, a, hey, since I, since according to Susan, dumbass, I'm such a whore, uh, you wanna fuck? <laughs> yeah, let's have a, let's have a goth baby gonna come out. Oh, yeah. With an afro pelvis. Then I, I can fuck your friends and all that shit. Yeah. She oh, can fuck my God. friend. Oh, there. Yeah. Alright, it's like, you know, like, a, one more thing, you know, if I'm such a whore and stuff, I would be fucking every day, okay? Seriously? Yeah. You need to, like, re-educate yourself. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Last time I checked was, whores get paid. Well, she apparently called me a whore because apparently, uh, according to Nathan, to her, I, uh, cheated on him while he was in great camp. Okay, um, no. I was, um not doing so. I was either in my room or with my grandparents or with my mom or smoking she pot. Mad. My she friend. mad because she can't be you. She's mad because I married Nathan first. She, the moment she found out who I was on my space after she found out who Nathan what's was the, Nathan, hold on, she started talking to me. No, no, what's that guy name that does that? That song that wears the mask and that blonde wig says, I would like to put it oh, in. Oh, Tornada? Yeah, she, she look like him. Oh, don't. I think, that's, I think that is her. She that Tornado dude. I would like to put it on the mama. Oh, my. That's her right there, <laughs> man. Don't ruin Tornado for me. God damn it. <laughs> God. God. Ugh. That's bad enough, I know when she's fucking creeping on my page when she reblogs my shit. I don't need to be thinking about it when I'm trying to watch Tornado while I masturbate. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, watch out, she'll be trying to take out the old fantasies next. <laughs> I don't like the teeny, my mom. But yeah, stop oh, looking down. Here's some advice for you. This, this is a, it's advice time. Two opinions in one. My opinion and my advice. Jeez, stop looking down. If you want to be respected, then start respecting yourself and other people. And stop making an ass out of yourself and throwing out racial slurs. You know, we're proud of you, or we're proud of you, because you were Losing taking weight. steps to lose weight. But you say, oh, I'm a nigger, or uh, what was that other thing? Um, Embrace the the nigger in me or in you or whatever. Yeah. You know what? That no, that's not cool. So you know what you need to do? You need to shut the fuck up. Lose some damn weight. And quit and lose some damn more, more goddamn weight, and chill the fuck out. If someone does not want to be with you, then you need to respect that. Yeah, yeah. And not be such a fucking. It child look like it look like Jabba the Hutt with hair. I just went in the bus there going, dark chocolate, nom nom, my cha cha cha. Da da ba da Jedi, man cha cha. Okay, well, yeah. you get it. You get yeah. to give it like, to uh, Susan or whoever the fuck. That other chick. Oh, uh, Sylvia. I'm going to tell you this, Sylvia. I'll be honest, I'll be for real. Quit lying to everybody saying that you and Damon Champa was together. Quit lying on celebrities saying that you was dating them, fucking them, and getting pregnant by them. Quit lying to people saying that you got pregnant and you had a miscarriage. That is so stupid. Mm -hmm. See, it's getting to a point where I can't believe certain women because you up here lying about 
I, I was pregnant and I had a miscarriage. It's going to make me start thinking when women does get pregnant and have a miscarriage that I couldn't believe them. Quit lying, on, quit lying like a motherfucker on people. Quit sitting up there talk, trying to... T you're not... Look, you do not speak for every grown-up there is around the world. You do not speak for them. Let them people tell me what they think. They don't need you to speak for them. You're not their daddy or their mom. You do got a wuss puss. Need to line that shit up, so <laughs> you're never gonna find a man. And those sailors must have been drunk as hell on your profile. Just to take I that did. picture. <laughs> That's one thing. And then okay, you look a cabeza, you a pichi cabron, pichi punta. What's your mama? That's all it is. You can chill with the webbles all damn day, cause your chichis are fucked up. <laughs> you look like the cuckoo with the wuss puss, cuckoo. Kukui. Oh so quit kidding yourself. Quit trying to fit in where you can get in. Because nobody's going to believe your bullshit. Yep. You've been outed. Because every, cause everybody knows you lie to people. So you got to out it yourself so you're a stupid bitch on earth. Mm -hmm. James, the dumbass preacher. Quit being a racist piece of shit and stop using God as a weapon. God is not a weapon of mass destruction. God is a... I don't know what to call God. God is somebody... God is Lord. Lord is God. God is Jesus, his Father. So quit using God and Jesus as a weapon. They are not weapons. There are people that we look up to and believe in. They can what? bless... Well, she don't. But, but hey, I back him up. Yeah. Back. Yeah, and people believe in Jesus and God. Even the farting preacher believes in God. Yeah. Everybody's got a different belief. <clears throat> God and oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pray <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> and look, man, it doesn't matter if people are gay, straight, bi, lesbian. It doesn't matter if they're emo or goth. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, Chinese, whatever. People deformed. are people. Yeah, deformed. People are people. They're going to believe whoever they want to believe in. You cannot force religion on people. In the Bible, it says, it. I know it says on, on in the Bible not to force religion on them. It's, it says, thou shalt not have no other God before thee. Meaning, God says, don't have no other gods before him. It doesn't say, oh, I need a dumb white motherfucker that looks like an actor they can twist all my words and hate on black folks and neck Mexicans and gays. I feel back that Brian did. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I do it too. Like I showed in that video we did about the actor, but like I said, man, he, you know what? If Mitt Romney, I know Mitt Romney loved this guy some because he probably have him on his team. He does. He lose everything. I'm for real, man. If Mitt Romney got this James the preacher on his team, he, <laughs> Obama. He will win the damn whole damn thing. But, like this, man, you can't push religion off on people because nobody's going to take this shit serious. See, this is why they got them gay camps. Now, you remember I told you about they got gay camps? Or oh, if you're gay, they take this camp and trying to force the gay out of you? Mm -hmm. I'm for real, man. But, that's how it is. Fat boy, get down. Lose some fucking wings. Stop being such a fat ass racist. Susan, dumbass, Bob, whatever you want to call yourself. Quit being a fucking stalker. Grow the fuck up and take some fucking medication for your stupid, stupid. I don't act. even think medication would even help. You know what? I wish they locked. Bullet would help. I wish they, I wish they would have locked her, ass, locked her ass up in a nut house and do a fucking lobotomy on her ass. Then after that, give her shock therapy on the side. Like I said, I showed you her name. Go to her Facebook and just start tagging that ass. Just talk, start tearing that ass up. Her, like I said, her name is Sylvia Davis. Sylvia, uh, Sylvia James Davis. Go on her page and start kicking her ass. Go on Fat Boy Gets Down YouTube or Facebook or Twitter and just tell him he's a fat piece of shit. James, hey, somebody, like I said, I wish a bunch of preachers come out of nowhere and just beat the shit out of him with the Bible. That's what I'm saying. I wish a bunch of preachers, some of the cardinals, the Pope, the rabbis would just come out of the woodworks and just beat them with the Bible. 
laying the holy smack down on them. I condemn you to hell. I condemn you. We rebuke your bullshit. We rebuke your bullshit. It's like I said, man. I always said before, there's always going to be somebody that's going to out themselves. When there's people that's going to out themselves, I'm going to do a video on them. These videos write themselves for the people who out themselves. And that's how it is. Any last words, sadistic? Um... Well, not really. I've said all I had to say. Um, you know, I just, I can't wait for these dumb asses to just, ugh, repost or comment or be like, nee, 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 nee. like I said, let them get butt hurt and say something. Yeah, do. and, uh, oh, Susan, also, um, you say that you have evidence of me supposedly stalking your boring, lifeless ass. I would love for you to, um, you know, show that. I would love to see it. Because yeah. I am really fascinated in the make-believe shit that you have. Yeah, Because all of my evidence that I've had over the years is with my lawyers. So, keep it up, bitch, because I will fucking yeah. take it yeah. out Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I have legal action, and, um, because you are, you know, being a fucking weirdo. It wouldn't surprise me if you're masturbating to my son's pictures, you fucking pedophile bitch. If she does, she is a pedophile bitch. <laughs> I bet she masturbates to Fatboy Get Down's picture. <laughs> <laughs> I need my job with the hood masturbator. Mm. You, you do anything with my son, I will slit your fucking throat. And That's I ain't a, just fucking talking, you talking. Girl, I mean... You come, you, you come up here and, uh, fucking... Um, I'll tell you this, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. That is all on sedition. That last part. I don't care, but, uh, one thing. Um, uh, you know, you, you also stalk my fucking Facebook. And I do have you blocked on that, by the way. Um, you know, you thought that I was in Charleston. Well, uh, no, I was never in Charleston. So if you are so eager to kick my ass... Why don't you drive your fucking lazy motherfucking ass up here to where I'm at? Remember, and, I always uh, said. Come to my door and tell me to fucking woman up there. You gotta remember. You gotta remember. I always said, man, watch what you're saying, dude, because the internet's your smoking gun. And this bitch is not gonna do nothing because she knows if she comes up there, man, any evidence that you got on her, she can get arrested for. If she got a thought in her fucking, if she got a brain in her fucking head, and she comes up there and try to kick your ass, you have enough evidence to lock her ass up she, in the nut house. She is afraid of me. She has admitted numerous times to being yeah. afraid of me. That's why every time I call her fucking out, she disappeared from the internet. Like, uh, the time that her oldest sister that you want, you want to bang, uh, outed her, saying that my, well, I really don't consider my husband. I consider him a, a fucking joke. But uh, apparently he was sneaking and seeing her behind my back. And um, her uh, sister, you know, hit me up and was like, I hate to uh, alarm you or whatever, but you know, she's wearing this ring that, you know, your husband gave her a few years ago for her, her birthday or something. And I fucking messaged her about it. What does she do? She fucking deletes her MySpace account. Cause she knew she got fucking busted. Yeah, see, it's like, yes, yeah, you got to realize, man, since all this now teen suicide because that got bullied over the internet. Oh, I'm not going to kill She ain't worth killing my No, no, no. Ever. No, but it's like this. Since they, since all these teens been kidding, committing suicide over the internet because they got cyber bullies, they're taking this shit very seriously. So anything she does, the FBI and the CIA will actually have evidence on her. So if she done this thing stupid and harms you, they can arrest her and lock her ass up in a federal penitentiary. Same goes for her little, uh, Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So that's how it is. Same with Sylvia Davis. She can make a damn death threat. I could turn it into a damn FBI agent. They can rest her ass on a damn death threat over the internet. Mm -hmm. See, people are stupid enough not they don't realize that when you put shit out there making death threats over the internet, the FBI knows what you're saying. Oh, what I said wasn't a death threat. It was a promise. Yeah. She says anything or, you know, has any pictures of my child, I will fuck her up. Yeah, but, 
Well, we're going to say our last word. You got anything to say before we roll out? Roll out. Fuck you, you fucking cunt. Well, all I got to say, these people are dick of the booty ass people. Dumbass. Come see me. Come and see me. Okay, I sim would love Simmer down, Joe Frazier. <laughs> Simmer down, Joe Frazier. But, like I said, all these people love to out themselves. They're nothing but dick and ass booty ass people, and they should burn in hell for all I care. And, have, and be banned from the internet entirely yes. for the rest of their miserable lives. Yes, they should. Like I said, man, y'all, no, I'm going to say this about this, about Fat Boy Get Down before we roll out. I'm going to mention this fucking fool. <laughs> stop loving on, like, stop looking at him as a fucking god, man. He's a racist piece of shit. He gets mad when he can't find a girlfriend to love him. Who wants to love on a man that doesn't take a bath? Who smells like shit every day. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd be like, fuck you, bitch. He calls, he spends more time in the hospital than he does anywhere else. He throws out racist slurs. Man, he don't even live in the stop, but he throws out racist slurs and people love this man? You Are know you it. I, I stalk him every day. So stop treating him like a fucking baby and grow the fuck up, man. And that's how it is. This has been Afro Joe, the Wookiee. The dick. Tell that T.I. is again. Mm -hmm. Don't like it? Kiss our ass. Hell yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I would still love to get a goth girl to hit me up. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get a real response from a goth woman. But this has been... Follow me on Twitter, AfroJoe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. You'll get the Tumblr page. Follow, uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And holla at a Wookie when you see him on the street. Go, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> to the Middle East.